the best part about last episode. It's not really about Tuka overcoming her trauma or all the cool fights happening. I was laughing my ass off looking at the Dark Elves shoot their bazookas without realizing who's behind. Everyone's fucking up. Everyone's in mass panic. People are shooting themselves left and right. Friendly fire all over the place. Very realistic though. How do you expect a bunch of new people that don't even know what the fuck this technology is to work it properly? We did have a little bit of training, but it is what it is. Lele has some great moments, right? She was like making these swords float and realized that she can pierce and then she actually broke her coup today, you know, blank face. Tuka lightning stuff. Uh, Rory contract with Itami, the blood contract, so she was taking her damage. And someone at the end, Hardy's apostle showed up, but doesn't matter. You know why? Because we got jet planes, baby. We got fucking missiles. None of that shit fucking matters at the end of the day. I wonder what arcs we're going to go into next. Let's begin today's episode. That's a two-week vacation. That's a fucking two-week vacation. Sounds good to me. Itami is like, all right, it is what it is. Now we're gonna get fucking fired or something. I'm giving you your commendations. Because at the end of the day, everyone knows what Itami did was the right thing to do, right? Obviously, towards what he should have done, he shouldn't have abandoned him, but what is the right thing to do? He went with his heart. I think everyone respects him. <laughs> Look at all this shit, dude. The defense minister has given you a grade one commendation for rescuing the kid, that woman. Let's fucking go. <laughs> King Duran, the guy that survived. Let's go. Wait, honorary chieftain. Bro is an honorary chieftain of the Dark Elves and the Adamantite Or. Yeah, this. Ownership. Oh, oh, we own Yao now. Oh, she gonna say Waga Aruji now. What do you mean? <laughs> no, no. Investigate more adamantite? Take your harem and go look for oil. Bro, we get a two week vacation. And then we get a new job to find oil. What's well, not really oil, but that's what I'm just saying because of the natural resources, right? With our harm. This is fucking dub. Itami just wins no matter fucking what. <laughs> Cute Lele, dude. Look at Lele. Aww. Lele got a helmet on while driving for. <laughs> Lele got a helmet on while driving. <laughs> It's cute. This is cute. Yeah. Dude, I wanted Lele to be the one to shoot the RPG at the dragons, you know? Because I thought it would be the funniest thing to get Moe of like a cute Kudere little girl shooting a gigantic fucking bazooka, but Tuka got it. Rory's just bad with vehicles, huh? Magic City. Lele's gonna be important, huh? Wonder how people will perceive Lele at Rondel. Because Lele's gotta be cracked, right? She's probably some kind of like prodigy magician. I wonder if they're gonna like worship her there or if they're gonna like discriminate against her. More hardy. Is this gonna be the Mahoka shit? You remember at the end of season one, Mahoka? We had like a thesis presentation where a bunch of fucking dweebs, bunch of fucking nerds. I'm kidding. They they go off and do their presentation thing. I think I remember in season one opening, there was like a brief moment of Lily giving like some kind of speech. So that must be what that is. Oto-san. <laughs> I know she said that you're not my dad, but I'm still gonna call you dad. It's just... <laughs> just... How old is she? Like, like a conjure something years old? Conjure something year old daughter calling the human that's like 30 years old? This isn't even just a role playing. It's just... I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you're grateful for me telling you that your dad's dead and shoot the rocket? Magic City. That just looks like a fucking triple ball and shaft. You look at this right over here. Dick and three balls. This guy gotta go to a doctor. Kind of reminds of Midis from Mushoku Tensei. Gods of learning, Eruran and Ra, were still demigods. 
Oh, just like how Rory, you know, she needs to like uh, at a certain age or something, she can ascend to godhood. <laughs> Everyone's fucking got the wizard, you know, the magic people clothing on. Another thing about this town is that people are poor planners and illogical. What? But it's a town of magic. Magic pe magicians are just poor planners in general, and they're illogical. I thought they'd be full of logic. What? Poor planners. Illogical. With her holiness? Your ho ho Rory. Rory? Her holiness Rory. Oh my god. Whenever she showed up. We got that Rory clout. Ooh, Pixie. These look like Christmas elves somehow. His voice changed immediately. He went from Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh my dear honored guest. Oh, oh you fucking piece of shit human. You're what, 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 humans are fucking discriminated against here? What's going on? We're a manservant, huh? Better than that. Oh? I owe you for this? What the girl's doing? Hello. Lele earrings! You drip. People trying to attain the rank of master. So Lele is trying to reach the rank of master, huh? Even though that guy assumed that Lele was trying to apply to academy. So if she gives a good presentation, she can achieve master. Okay. Master is a university professor. I don't know. I just, you know, you look great in this. I just didn't expect like a little girl like you to be like a fucking master already. But then again, she was training with some kind of hermit sage. Were we underestimating that guy? Were we really underestimating Lele's master in the beginning? I didn't think too much of him, but maybe he was fucking insane. Or it's just Lele's innate talents. And yes, never forget about Lele's Hall of Purple that she never lands. Well, even like the usage of the swords and how she was able to pierce the dragon and then use even more swords. That was pretty impressive, right? I doubt a lot of magicians could have just naturally do that. <laughs> Riz the Kujade. <laughs> Wait, if the contents of my presentation aren't accepted by the other masters, ink and oils will be thrown at my white room. These are barbarians! This is their culture? So they intentionally wear like white robe to present. It's like a PhD thesis. This is what it exactly is. This is a PhD dissertation, a thesis. If you're a PhD student, at the the last thing you do is basically um uh, do a presentation on your research, right? And if the other professors approve of it, and you can, if you can defend against whatever they throw at you, not oil, but like opinions, then you are then granted, you know, you are a professor, you got a PhD, but like here they just fucking boo, boo L L fucking take an ink, take fucking oil, they just egging us. And then we have to take it, and, and then she can't take, bro, and I still won't be allowed to take it off during my time here. It's like the ink and oil of shame. It's like this girl, she took a lot of L's during the presentation. She's a false fucking, you know, professor. I don't want Lele getting thrown a bunch of ink and oil, though. Will he believe that? I don't know. I don't know. Itami got a line in there, but it would have been funny if the guy, if, if the hotel keeper was like, yeah, whatever. Bro. Okay. What the f- <laughs> Shit's fucking lit here. Gilf. Ma, Lele. She got a heart of a youngster. This this granny is very energetic. She's, uh, <laughs> she's acting like a, like a looks like a part timer. That's like a she's in her twenties. Oh, 
しでどうしように挑むなんて早すぎるとミモザロシはいグランドマスターミモザおお、not just regular master グランドマスターちょっと買い物に出てるのアルペジオレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイレイ Everyone is so like cracked here. Cracked as in shit is loud, rampant. Things are just blowing the fuck up. I thought they'd be a bunch of quiet nerds, but shit is just fucking a party here. Lele. What's going on? What's that look? What's that look? Little sister, blood related? Arpeggio is Lele's bigger sister? Why? <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to. Why, why are you defining your L's right now? You're straight up saying, oh, my little sister who's going to go for master and I'm still working on doctor. He or she already got a man and I'm single. This does not look very good for you, Arpeggio. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. You're, and you're broke too. What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean, pawing around with an elf? You're racist? They don't like elves around you? Skill issue. Get good. Onesan. I forgot her name is fucking Derena Derena. Derena Derena. <laughs> These names are. F it's almost as dumb as fucking, you know, names and snafu, bro. Every, every, Yukino sta Yukino. <laughs> Yuigama Yuki. You know, everything is like the redundant name. <laughs> More Aras. Emperor? Empire? Oh, it's a fucking Enryu. The Fire Dragon. Wait! Are we straight up? Flexing the head of the fire dragon with our jet plane across the empire to let them know, hey, hey, you see this shit? Yeah, <laughs> that was us. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. I'm sure things won't go wrong, right? Flags, flags, flags. So how is this gonna go? There's no way that bunny chief warrior girl is gonna let this happen. Right, that's the last thing she wants. Stop tripping flags. Best friends. Roommates. Do best friends hug like that? It's a lot of skin you're showing. The, 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 the guy behind him has his tongue out too right now. Yeah, just best friends. Mm -hmm. It's art. Stop! If it's that fucking little girl again, the little kid of an important royal family that was eyeing Suga Wadadono at the last fucking one of these things, I swear to God, bro. What are we doing? What, what are we doing? She is like 10 years too goddamn young! No! We did it! It's this gift! 12! 12! My country doesn't consider a 12 year old girl to be a woman. <laughs> but I guess, you know, back in the day, you know, in the Empire, stuff like that, people get married super early because people die early and they gotta have a lot of kids to make sure, you know, there's enough people going around. So, yeah, yeah we noticed. Stop! That's crazy! Yeah? You want me to pick it for you? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hurt her feelings at this rate. You gotta be nice though. You're gonna make her cry. Just four more years. 12 plus 4, 16, 16. I'm be the perfect woman for you because 16 is the age of consent in Japan. Did she do her homework? Did she do her fucking homework? What's going on, bro? Because in this world, apparently, in the other side of the empire, right, they're fine with 12-year-olds getting married to grown-ass fucking men, but she said in four years, meaning 16, and 16 is the age of consent in Japan. I don't fucking know how to feel about this, but this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> she making moves, bro. She making moves. <laughs> hmm. So she's actually doing a big brain move and she's actually helping us out because no one else is approaching the Japanese diplomats. And if she's here interacting with Sugawara, then suddenly it's a more friendly environment for them to approach Sugawara. That is what I'm getting from this. So she's actually genius. 
Politically, politically, politically. I think that what she's proposing actually does make sense and it could be helpful. It's just that, you know, it's a 12 year old. Shiraiuri Fukudaijin. Shady is actually really smart. Fukudaijin, Shiraiuri to Moshimas. Ojo san, Dareni Onara in Natano de Sugawara Sama. The look on her face, bro. The look on her face as she realizes, hold the fuck up, what are you doing, Sugawara? I'm gonna need to talk to you in private. Also, what the fuck is wrong with this guy's face right over here? In the middle, right over here. This is like beyond class of the elite animation. What the fuck happened to bro's face? Does he just look like that? Am I just being mean right now? Was he born like this? No, this is no worse shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I promise it's not what you think. I am not a lolicon. I'm not going to jail. Really? Are they all going to start wearing business casual outfits? Like, you know, like uh, skirts and like blazers and stuff like that. That'd be pretty fun if like everyone over here kind of like likes their outfit and they all start dressing like modern business attire. <laughs> I thought you were joking about that part. The ceremony. Tude, new drip? Wait a minute. Is, is this new drip? I think this is new drip. Yeah, sure, bro. It was totally all you and not Tude. You're just the messenger. Bro has no idea. This is like season one light novel, Horikita Suzune, talking to Anakoji. Thinking that Anakoji is just fucking useless. It's like, you got no clue. You, you're, you're, you're an actual tool. We are using you so fucking hard, but oh, oh, dude, oh. Cameraman, can you move the angle up a little bit? You're missing out on the good shit. Where's the other brother? The other brother's not here? Hmm. Bald! POW. Prisoner of War. Restoration Ceremony. Yep. Oh god. He's going rogue. Act. It's an act. These guys are probably shocked right now that the prince is even talking to them like, what, what the fuck? You've never talked to us. How do you remember our name? Please, it'd be so funny if he's gonna say like, my name's not really Miudora, but thank you, Denka. Those are the prisoner of war, right? That got returned. And he's just trying to look good in front of everybody. I got the lady's name. Things are going pretty well. Oh, people are mad though. Yeah, it's all your fault, guys. Take your lives then. Oh, get him! Yeah! Kush Kuribashi, let's go! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's gonna do something. Uh-oh. Zozal, uh-oh. Well, Sugawara noticed uh, the animosity between Zozal and the Emperor. Shandy Gaff. I don't remember her. Something about that was funny. What is she eating? Is that a- I don't know. It's like a tortilla shell. The head of the fire dragon! <laughs> we still know who put it on the castle gate. Gee, I wonder who did it. We were just parading around the empire with the fucking fire head dra the fire dragon's head. And then we just mounted on the castle gate. It's like, alright, take it. <laughs> Shandy? Was she there? Was she there? I must be forgetting some details, but okay, she knows about, you know, how we killed the fire dragon. She's so cute. Even the emperor calls her her holiness. That's crazy how Rory Mercury actually didn't really aid. Well, she, she, she aided in, you know, defending outside with the blood contract, right? And that's how she was taking all the damage. She took all the Itami's damage too, so she did actually help. But, you know, I'm not, I'm, like, she didn't actually fight it, right? But she, she definitely did help. More like modern technology. Yeah. Beat the shit out of 
Remember? Brr, brr. Lady, hollow purple. Kato is also a grandmaster, just like the grandma. Oh, okay, so Kato was actually fucking cracked. Gotcha. Rurudo. She's an imperial citizen, technically? What? I don't think it's as good news as you think, because I don't think Lele would ever... I don't think she would ever align with the Empire, even though she's technically imperial citizen. I don't think so. Really? Lele gets invited? Mm, the Emperor probably thinks that he can use her lineage to drive a drift between her and Itami and the group by awarding her. I think that's what the Emperor is suspecting. It's either that or something else, but this look, this is not from a place of generosity. He definitely has some schemes going on. He's just happy that there is an Imperial citizen in Itami's party and he can somehow use that to his advantage. Simply rewarding her in front of everyone else and making her feel appreciated won't let Lele move though. She wouldn't just fall, like take that bait. It's not even a bait, like she doesn't care, care about that. So then what else could he be planning? I don't know. <laughs> Is defeating a fire dragon that special? Bro, what the fuck kind of question is that? What are you- <laughs> Just, He's so fucking stupid. He's, he's so fucking stupid. Like, go try it yourself. <laughs> Main character syndrome. Main character syndrome. <laughs> Do something dumb, bro. Come on, try it right now. Ruin it right now. Oh, wait, wait. Two to- Kanpai! Hey, Koku! Did we check this for poison? Wait, 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 wait. What's in the? What's in here? Wait, wait, wait. Did we? Did we check? Did we check for po po poison? Um, he's drinking it too, but it's his own cup. So, Tude planned this. Tude planned the wine to get poisoned. Whose wine is it? I'm not really sure. Where does the blame fall on now? Is the Emperor actually just dead? I thought that he would be like the mastermind puppeteer till the very end, but he's actually just dead? Or... This is all an act- No, I'm giving him way too much credit. Bro, here's the thing about the Emperor in this fucking show. It's just that first time I saw him, I thought he was a fucking dumbass, but it turned out he was an actual fucking genius. So now, every time the Emperor shows up, it doesn't matter what he's doing. He could be fucking scratching his ass and I could be like, holy shit, what is he fucking scheming? Oh my fucking god, he's such a genius, bro. He fucking goes on a walk. Holy shit, he sees so much ahead of everyone else. But right now, is he faking his own death to blame Japan? No, he's just dead, right? He simply... A pawn at the end of the day that we gave too much credit and Tude has poisoned the Emperor so that now the blame can be the peace is basically the peace treaty won't be signed is the idea. Poison. You gonna smile? Zozal, smile. He's actually dead. The Emperor is actually dead. I thought that the Emperor was gonna go, like, the end game. Like, I truly gave him too much credit at the end of the day, huh? Well, there's like a 0.000001% chance that maybe he's faking his own death and he already knew that it was poisoned. I don't fucking know. Probably not. But it looks like I gave him way too much credit. He's actually dead. And, basically, it's just today, right? Planning this entire thing. Because her entire goal is for everything to burn down. I want... The pain that's been inflicted onto me, inflicted onto everyone else. We cannot have a peace thing going on. And by killing the Emperor, the peace treaty signing is going to be delayed. Now, Zolza, what does this mean? Now, naturally, he's going to rise into power. And Tude will be able to basically control him even more behind the, behind the scenes and cause even more havoc. So this is good for us, right? In terms of, like, more drama, more shitting on the Empire, and having more moments just, just like, you know... It's like a power, power fantasy, just like shitting on them. So that's great. But 
Rip Emperor, I guess. The beginning stuff with Lele, pretty fascinating, right? It's like the it's like a country of magic, and there's grandmasters, and Lele's going for the title of master, and you gotta do a presentation, and if they don't like your presentation, they can fucking throw ink and oil at you, and then you gotta like wear it until you until the end, and you can't even take it off, and it's like the shame, right? So that's pretty funny. Another funny thing was parading around the fucking empire with the head of the red dragon, bro. That's this is so fucking troll, bro. Sugawara and Shetty. A little bit of Lollicon fan service, but Shetty actually was pretty smart. Beyond just being a lolly, I think Shetty is pretty smart. So now, where does the show kind of go with the Emperor being dead? Zolza will naturally assume the throne. Tude will control behind the scenes and will basically have some bullshit reason and say the Japanese people are the ones doing this. Let's go to war. And then we go to fucking war. Well, that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, then please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.